Hey guys, Tech here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use AirDrop from your iPhone to an Android phone. Here we have a Samsung S20 Ultra, and we're going to AirDrop essentially photos over so it's easy to transfer. Now you can send it when you're looking to send stuff to an Android phone. It's kind of tough because they don't have AirDrop natively, so we're going to show you how we can do a quick method to do that. Of course, you're going to lose them messaging app or any sort of app that allows you to transfer you can use google photos to transfer your photos and videos over but we're going to do it in a way that it just a transfer through the bluetooth here so the first thing you want to do is actually hop over to your browser and on both of the devices so you're going to go over to the browser both of your devices and now you're going to look for this site known as snapdrop so snapdrop is a third party app that's available for us to be able to go ahead and uh, transfer stuff over. So Snapchat drop again here, as you can see, I opened it up here and then go over here on your Android device, snap a drop, it'll be .NET. And it almost seems like they're kind of Wi-Fi signaling like the how AirDrop works. Now you have this open, each device gets a unique name. For example, this is Coffee Dragon, this is Yellow Yak, now let's say we want to send stuff over from the iPhone to Android phone. What we do is simply click on that icon and now it'll let you choose files, take a photo, or video, or look in your library. So click on the library here and we'll go ahead and select these five pictures we have. Hit that add icon and as you can see now it has transferred over. Now we can hit that save button or we can unselect this as to save every time. So if you want to go ahead, save each file individually, one after another, it will come through and you save it. Or you can simply uncheck mark this and then hit save button, which will allow to take all the photos that you send over automatically, put it in your gallery here on your Android phone. So you can open up gallery, as you can see, all the photos we transferred now has transferred over with the airdrop method that we can use now again airdrop is natively on samsung phones or android phones but we can use this snapdrop.net website there's also an app for it you can look for that app you can use the app as well to transfer all of your photos videos files over from iphone to android similarly you can go the other way around you can simply if you open up both of them so sometimes you have to refresh both of the page. So let's say if you moved away, you want to refresh again so that devices sync up again. And then this time, let's say we want to go other way around. We can simply uh, choose camera here, or actually go into the files here. You can go to files, and then as you can see here, we can select that, and you can hit that save option. And again, this time it will save and you can view it here. As you can see, you download it. You can save it to photos. You can do for multiple files where it will download into your iPhone. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. Also want to hear from you guys. If you guys have another better way of transferring stuff from one iPhone to an Android phone, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.